Hello, SAC Philly family and friends. Good morning and welcome to our virtual worship service here at the Snyder Avenue Congregational Church. I'm Pastor David Grange. I'm so glad that you are joining us this morning. This recording is for Sunday morning, August 2nd, 2020. Well, this week, our SAC Philly leadership team met again for the third time this summer. We are focusing on a new vision for our church. Please pray for us as we work together. Soon we'll be rolling out what that new vision is, our plans to see that vision come to pass. And we're going to be asking you to give your input and to become involved. So pray for us. Here's a picture of one of our recent meetings. This week marks our seventh week back in the building. We've been taking steps to ensure your safety when you return. In addition to wearing masks and social distancing, each week the building is sanitized to ensure maximum safety. Now, though we are open again, we understand that some are not ready to return, don't feel comfortable, and we certainly uh, are, are aware of that. We encourage you to return only when you feel comfortable. But we are looking forward to seeing you again in the near future. And moving forward, we'll continue to make this video with its virtual worship service format, including a sermon from the, uh, the Sunday that, this, uh, that the uh, message is recorded. So watch it uh, for announcements, updates from SAC, and from your church family. Our call to worship this morning is taken from Psalm 89. Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. Your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. Now, there's a connection between praising God and living or walking in his light. Those who praise him, acclaim him, know him, and they love his greatness, his splendor, beauty, and his holiness. And as a result, they are blessed. They walk not in fear, but in his light. We are blessed as we praise the Lord. Wherever you are today, you can praise the Lord. Your, your arm, O oh Lord, is endowed with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Praise the Lord. At this moment, we're going to go to corporate prayer, a time when we pray together. We ask you to send in your praises and prayer requests. You know, we're getting back together. Almost 50 people were in attendance uh, last week. And uh, we are glad that uh, many are returning. We are taking time to hear each other's prayer requests and praises. Here's a picture of that activity. Uh, notice the uh, social distancing and the masks going on there. All necessary to keep, keep ourselves safe. But we want to hear from you if you're not, if you're not coming. We understand that, as, as, as I said. But now, uh, don't forget to call in your praises and your prayer requests. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us how we can pray for you. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, who is like you? Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty and your faithfulness surrounds you. We pray today that you would incline your ear to us. Answer us speedily in the day when we call. Today we are calling upon the name of the Lord. We hope in the name of the Lord. And those who hope in the name of the Lord are never ashamed. Indeed, you are our salvation and our God. We continue to pray against the spread of the coronavirus in our country. We pray, Lord, for the safe return of our um, students to school, whether it's virtually or uh, in the schoolroom, in the classroom. We continue to pray for our economy. We pray for jobs, for those who are looking for jobs, and um, that you would help us meet our financial responsibilities. We pray for our nation, we pray for spiritual awakening, and that there would be a, a great turning away from sin and, and in all its forms, racism, 
greed, materialism, just outright rejection of you, that that would, that would change, that your spirit would convict, and that you would show them the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And for the church, we pray for revival. We pray that we may be leading the way against wickedness, against lawlessness, against everything that's opposed to your way, that we would lead the way towards reconciliation between us and you, but also between one another. We ask these things in the matchless, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We ask that you would move in our midst. Indeed, blessed is the one who trusts in you. We trust in you today. Amen. Today's sermon is given by Pastor Joe Marlin, a good friend from Epiphany Church of Gloucester City, New Jersey. The name of his message is Friendship with God. God doesn't need you, but he wants you. Our Bible text is John 15, 15. Where is the sermon, you may be asking? Well, during my time away from the pulpit, we are actually recording the sermons and then uploading them on Sunday afternoon or as soon as possible. I encourage you to go back to the uh, Sack Philly YouTube channel and find today's message if you are indeed looking at it before Sunday afternoon. Thank you for your patience and your understanding few announcements as we close. We want to remind you that as we return to the building, there are rules that we are asking you to follow, including wearing a mask, social distancing. Follow the instructions of the ushers as they're working hard to ensure your safety. Only families can sit together. And if you are feeling sick, please don't attend the church service. Thank you. Santa Sana. Please stay connected. Stay connected by sending in your prayer requests, your praises, your greetings, so that we can include them in the weekly video worship service. We want to be praying for each other all week long. Also, let us know if you need help or know someone who might need help. We have people and resources that might be able to lend a hand. If you want to give, and we encourage you to do so, even though you're not attending the church service, you can send a check payable to SAC at 300 Snyder Avenue, Philadelphia, PA, 19148. Or use the Cash app, search dollar sign Sac Philly, and you'll see Dawn Halverson's name appear. She is our treasurer, and your funds will go directly into our account. Thank you for blessing our church with your gifts, your tithes, and your offerings. As we continue to minister the gospel in different ways, as we continue to pay for our operating expenses, it is necessary that we collect an offering and we know that you will indeed be blessed as you give to this work. Let's conclude with these words of benediction. Now may the spirit who dwells in you and with you fill you with his joy. He is the spirit of joy that flows between God the Father, God the Son, producing in us now his children who have been brought into the Trinity, delight for each other, delight to do his will, and delight in his great grace and love. Now we say together, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. Through it all, we are stayed upon Christ Jesus. Our hearts are fully blessed, finding as he promised, perfect peace and rest. Be blessed. See you next week.